the truth is that strokes can occur in anyone at any age. It just has to do with interruption of blood flow. So it is true that the incidence of stroke, meaning the number of strokes, increase as people get older, but it doesn't mean that you can't have a stroke when you're young. But I think one of the biggest reasons is obesity in childhood. The diseases that we know that are connected with stroke as you get older are now developing earlier. So let's say you were obese as a teenager. Now you might develop high blood pressure or hypertension in your 20s or diabetes, etc. And all those things are associated with strokes, so now we're seeing a shift in the incidence to younger strokes. Part of the problem is people don't really understand what the symptoms are, but it's also recognizing it and thinking, can it happen to me? But if you think you're young, you know, how could I have a stroke? So you kind of discard it. But there's a lot of denial and stroke that uh, I think a lot of uh, awareness as well as education will begin to sort of chip away at. There are different things and different reasons why younger people might have stroke, and we look at all those things when someone comes in. Number one, we're looking for blood clotting problems. Maybe it's a woman who was on oral contraceptive and developed blood clots and went to the brain. Two is the heart. Sometimes people who are younger actually have a structural abnormality that might predispose them to stroke. We call that patent foramen ovale, PFO, where they have a small hole in the heart. And then three blood vessels. Sometimes when you're younger, you might actually injure the artery. So it's not that the artery is becoming narrowed from plaque, but it's becoming narrowed because it was injured, either through activity or otherwise. Many times people come in with signs and symptoms of stroke, but they're told, oh, it can't be a stroke because you're so young. And that's crazy because it can still be a stroke. So I think the important thing is for anybody to realize if suddenly they feel that they're not feeling well, and the symptoms are sudden in the way we describe, sudden weakness on one side of the body, numbness, problems with vision, problems with speech, that they really should go to the hospital right away. And if they don't get the appropriate treatment, continue to push forward.